My name is Kenton Schoonover. I've been in practice in Wichita for 14 years. I have a new practice in the last year called Kansas Plastic Surgery, and that's where we are today, is sitting in my office. And when I came to Wichita back in 2004, I did a whole variety of cosmetic and reconstructive surgery. And it was a, a nice thing for me to come to a place like Wichita, because Wichita really needs people who will provide the whole range of plastic surgery care. That may be treating breast cancer patients, it may be treating patients with hand or face injuries, it may be treating skin cancer, but it also includes treating people that really want to improve their self-confidence through breast augmentation, tummy tuck, facelift, etc. And I think that in Wichita is a unique place because it gives you an opportunity to really do all of these things and provide care to people in a variety of different walks of life. It's satisfying to me to get to take somebody from a, a traumatic injury uh, through a recovery process to be able to restore someone back to where they feel confident again after going through some awful event. Cosmetic surgery sometimes gets a bad rap from some people and gets some judgment because of people choosing to do something to look better or change something about themselves. But I've seen people over and over again that have had a dramatic change in their self-confidence or their ability to be able to communicate with people more effectively because they really believe in themselves and feel better about that one thing that's just always bothered them. We're able to offer a full range of, of cosmetic services as well as reconstructive services. The staff are great and they're friendly, all handpicked by me from people that I've built relationships with. One thing that I've always talked about since I've started this new practice is doing something called creative, compassionate care. And what that means to me is it's a chance for me to be able to sit down with people, really listen to them and get to know what their needs are, what their goals are, what their desires are, and be able to treat them in a very compassionate way that lets them be able to feel confident that we're going to not judge them, but we're going to just care for them.